and a gentleman was running up the stairs toward the concourse and he was yelling for security and said, this woman is bleeding a lot. A startling realization in the bleachers when two women are shot at last night's Sox game. But the nature of the shooting remains a mystery. We still don't know if the shots came from inside or outside the stadium. Good evening, I'm Tamon Bradley. And I'm Dana Rebick. WGN's Jewel Hillary has new details now from Guaranteed Rate Field where the Sox just beat the Oakland A's. Hi, Jewel. Hi, Dana and Simon. So I know it has to be very unsettling for some because, as you mentioned, we still don't know exactly where that bullet came from. But we have learned tonight from the Chicago Public Schools that one of the women injured at yesterday's Sox game is a CPS teacher. Tonight we did talk exclusively to a doctor who was at the right place at the right time yesterday and was able to help both women out. As the White Sox practiced on the field earlier in the day for their Saturday night game, fans started lining up outside the ballpark. This is our first game this year. Several fans we talked to say they weren't worried about their safety inside the ballpark after a woman was shot and another woman was grazed in the stands. You think about it and you know that's one incident and you know hopefully it won't happen again so we're okay with it. Just just be safe. This video from Friday night's game shows a woman in the stands near left field appear to grab her leg. She looks down and the people in front of her turn around. Then she stands up. Following that, someone waves for help. Dr. Jeannie Farnan says she was in the same area when someone cried out to help the 42 year old woman who was bleeding heavily. There was an obvious uh, entry wound into her thigh. Dr. Farnan says she helped a man who was already applying pressure to the woman's wounds. By the time the EMT got there, uh, another woman a couple rows down off to the right said this woman is hurt down here as well. So when I went to check that woman out, I left the first patient with the EMT and I went down to the second woman who lifted her shirt to show me what looked like a burn. The second woman who police say is 26 years old was grazed by the bullet, which someone found and handed off to Dr. Farnan, who then passed it along to authorities. The spokesman for the White Sox says the women were struck around the fourth inning. According to CPD, there was no active threat and the game continued. I wouldn't speculate how their decision making process happens. I, I don't know. It was very unclear who was aware of what was going on at any given point in time. Right now, there are several unanswered questions. And it's not clear um, where the bullet came from. Um, there are no reports of any gunshots in our ballpark. So CPD continues to kind of investigate and they'll let us know. As the internal and the investigation continues to take place by the Chicago Police Department, there'll be more information to come following. According to the White Sox manager, the team didn't find out about what happened until after the game. If they felt we were in danger, um, then probably they would have let us know prior to, but like I said, we never felt threatened. Police say the woman who was grazed refused medical treatment, and Dr. Farnan says the shooting victim was able to walk away from the stands with help before going to the University of Chicago Medical Center for care. Dr. Farnan also told us that the woman who was shot told her that it sounded like a glass bottle breaking before she felt the pain in her leg. Dr. Farnan also says neither of the women had weapons on them. Now, the Sox game did just end a few minutes ago, and I'm not sure what the typical police presence is out here on a typical game night, but we've definitely seen a number of officers throughout the afternoon into the evening. Also, the Sox spokesman says that the team regularly reviews their security protocol after an incident happens. Reporting live tonight outside of Guarantee Rate Field, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.